Discharging the small baby. A small baby sent home too soon is at risk of becoming sick and failing to grow. This video will show the five important goals that a small baby should reach to be safely discharged and five ways to prepare the family to care for the small baby at home. Evaluate the small baby for possible discharge when he is healthy and stable. First, the baby's general health should be good with no features of serious infection or danger signs. Second, the baby's breathing should be normal with a normal breathing rate, no chest in drawing, and no pauses in his breathing. Third, the baby's temperature should be normal and stable for three days in a row, either while being held skin to skin or dressed warmly. Fourth, the baby should be feeding well and gaining weight. He should be attaching well at the breast and sucking effectively, or he may be partially breastfeeding and taking the rest by cup. If the mother is also cup feeding, she should be expressing effectively and have a good supply of milk. If the baby is less than 10 days old, his weight should be stable for three days in a row. If he is more than 10 days old, his weight should be gradually increasing. And fifth, the mother and family should be confident they can care for their baby. Once you've decided that the baby is ready for discharge, prepare the mother and family to care for their baby at home. Here are five ways. First, keep the baby warm. Advise the family that skin-to-skin -skin care should be continued until the baby weighs at least 2 kilos. Second, feed the baby only mother's milk as often as the baby wants, at least every 2-3 to three hours, day and night. Progress to exclusive breastfeeding as the baby's skills and strength improve. Third, give the baby love and attention. Stimulating the baby often by touching and talking to him helps the baby's growth and development. Fourth, prevent infection. Remind the mother and family members to wash their hands with soap and water before touching the baby every time they clean stools and urine, feed the baby, and whenever their hands are dirty. Give the baby his first vaccine before he leaves. Fifth, teach the danger signs. Advise the family to bring the baby to a health worker right away, day or night, if any danger signs occur. Fast breathing, chest in drawing, the chest draws in with each breath, A cold body temperature, the baby's belly and feet are cold compared to their own. A hot body temperature, the baby's body is hot to touch. Not feeding, the baby doesn't act hungry and may not wake up to feed. No movement, the baby doesn't move when stimulated. Convulsions. The baby may have unusual eye or mouth movements or repetitive jerking of the arms or legs.
follow the baby's progress. Give the mother a phone number to call with questions or problems and see the baby twice a week until the baby weighs two kilos and once a week until he weighs two and a half kilos. Remember, a small baby can be discharged when he's well, has a stable temperature, is gaining weight, feeding well, and the mother feels confident to care for him. Prepare the family to care for the baby by discussing warmth, feeding, love and attention, preventing infection, and danger signs. Support the family with frequent visits until the baby is thriving. <laughs>